I've got to change my desktop background. I'm tired of it, but I just don't know what to, I just don't know what to put here. But anyway, stick around if you want to see the Excel file I created and see the stats on this $149 coffee cup. Because I've already put it through, this is the 30 I've owned it, I've already put it through quite a bit of testing, as well as testing the standard mug. So, first, I'm going to yak at you, and then we'll come back to the Excel file. Good afternoon, 12.35 p.m., the 29th of March, 2023. I've got something to show you. I've been looking at this product for two years, roughly, wanting it. I just could not spend that much on a coffee cup. So what did I do? I waited till they raised the price. <laughs> yes, just a few weeks ago they raised the price for like $25. I didn't know it or I would have bought one before they did. I finally decided, look, I've got this $55, $56, $57 gift card I've had for a couple months. Don't know what to do with it. I had over $400 in Visa points I've saved in the last year and a half and yes I know that's real money I could have been I could have spent anywhere so it's still real money I realize that and I thought I'm just going to do it I'm just going just going to do it. I'm just going to buy this plus it was on sale normally 149 recently raised by $25 and the gray one was on sale for 119 I guess because nobody wants gray I don't know and it's not the color I would have chose but I really have gray for 119 the white or red for 149 no doubt about it but look at this Look at what I've got. I finally have one. The Ember coffee mug. I call it a coffee cup. I've always called, I called them coffee cups. This ain't a mug, it's a cup. But I love this thing. I've only had it a few days and already absolutely love it and already want a second one. Yes, I want a second one so when this one is dirty and I can wash it immediately, but look at the bottom. It says make sure this is dry when you put it on the charging saucer. I'm the only person calling it a charging saucer. To me, they're cups and saucers. Everybody else is calling it a charging plate. But it says make sure it's completely dry, which I do. Then I set it on the I set it on the charging saucer, and when I pick it up, there's a little ring around the saucer that looks almost like when you breathe on a uh, window, you know, in the winter. It's 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 moisture without a doubt. So I would like to have another one so I can always set this and make sure it's completely dry while I'm using the other one. Plus, I like to have a second charging saucer, and the charging saucer is 40 bucks. So if I can get on sale, my, I may buy another cup in a few months. So I can check, set the second one right there. Because I need the saucer on my uh, office desk, home office desk, so that this can stay hot as long as I need it to and not have to depend on the battery. But it takes away the convenience of having it set right here by our, by our coffee, what we call the coffee nook. This room, I think, is supposed to be a breakfast nook or a dining second dining room. But we've just always used it as a place for me to make coffee. My wife doesn't make it. Doesn't, well, okay. Recently, she started drinking coffee a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you some stats. Because I've already made an Excel file. If you watch the channel at all, you know I love Excel. And I'm going to show you what this thing does compared to what they promise it will do. But first, what is this? It's for people who drink coffee or hot chocolate or hot tea slow, like me. If you drink your coffee in 30 minutes, this isn't for you. Well, actually, maybe even quicker than that. But if you drink your coffee quickly or your tea, this isn't for you. To me, it'd just be a waste, but that's that's up to you to decide. If you like your coffee piping hot, I've heard some people complain that the maximum temperature you can set is 145. That's fine for me, but I realize it's not hot enough for a lot of people. This won't work for you. I have to. I have. Well, before I bought this, I had no idea what I drank my coffee yet. I'd make coffee and I'd slowly, like a little sissy girl, scared it's gonna burn. I would take a little sip, ooh, that's too hot. Take a little sip, ooh, that's too hot. Then eventually I'd put a lid on it because I had a mug with a lid and it would stay in what I call the Goldilocks zone for probably 30 minutes or so. 40, I might, I might get 45 minutes out of a cup, is what I thought. And so anyway, 
first thing I did before this came in after I ordered it is I started testing the temperature of my coffee to see what I like and turns out I like it about 145 degrees 145 148 but maximum this will go will be 145 so did I set the temperature on 145 no I set it at 144 why because that's such a cool freaking number a gross nobody uses the term gross anymore except when talking about your face as my daughter would say <laughs> A gross, a dozen dozen, 144. That's what I have the temperature set at. But I called the Goldilocks zone 135 to 145. And so I tested this the last few days to see how long it'll stay in the Goldilocks zone. I also tested one of my mugs I've been using. I've been using one of these right here. This is a Megalin Outdoor with the lid. I also tested one of those. When I tested it, I didn't want to waste a coffee pod, so um, I um, tested it with hot water. Speaking of which, coffee's gotten so expensive, I bought more of these. The Kroger off-brand is not bad coffee at all, and it's somewhere around 25 cents a cup. And, you know, I can't hardly afford these expensive cups anymore. <laughs> They're just too darn expensive. Pete's, I love Pete's, but I'm not paying 55 and 60 cents for a cup of coffee. They don't make the Italian roast anymore that I can find. Newman's is so awesome. But I have a hard time paying 50 cents for a cup of coffee. Says the man that spent 120 bucks on a freaking coffee cup. <laughs> hey, it was normally 149 So here is a $149 coffee cup. And I'm fixing to show you the stats of what it can do. Let's go look at the Excel file. All right, let's look at this first. Let's look at that standard mug I just showed you. One just like it. The Megalin Outdoors without a lid. Look at this. We have date, mug type, lid, yes or no, estimated lifetime battery cycles. That doesn't matter here. The Goldilocks zone between 135 and 145 degrees and percent of 80 minute go. Nine minutes to stay in the Goldilocks zone, 11.3%. This right here is what you're going to get for the perfect temperature coffee if you just have a cup with no lid and it's insulated but it doesn't really matter if the lid is off and those aren't insulated that well anyway i don't think but there you go nine minutes of perfect coffee or as perfect in temperature and I, I put the lid on see look at this see how this dropped and over to the left it shows the goldilocks zone minutes it's a different shade of blue right there's a different graph to look at here's that same mug with the lid this time we got 45 minutes or 56.3 percent as you can tell it took 80 minutes to drop to the goldilocks zone which is ridiculous what i would what i normally do in the real world is i'll use one of those one of those mugs put coffee in it and like a little sissy girl i'll try a little bit here and there a little sip oh that's too hot oh that's too hot then when it gets just a little bit too hot but i can still drink it okay i put the lid on and then according to this i have about 45 minutes to drink it and yes i'm such a slow coffee drinker that sometimes is a problem if i'm eating probably not sometimes i will eat something just to make myself thirsty just so i won't waste the coffee which is stupid because i'm fat anyway not that fat but i'm a little fat and i don't need the food and so many times i throw coffee away seriously i'll throw away two or three ounces all the time just because i don't want to microwave it i don't like microwaving coffee but anyway, uh, and that's why I've already had people tell me, uh, they said, I've got a $5 mug. It does the same thing. Actually, it don't because what I just bought will keep the absolute exact temperature for a while. This still continued to drop over time, and it's not the same because look at this. The first test I did, look at this, lid, no. Because they do sell a lid for it, and they said it'll double your battery amount of time. But I haven't got, I don't have one, don't know if I want one. I just do not have a lid, I don't think. Lifetime battery cycles, one. I did this right out of the box. I charged it up for even picked coffee, and I did this test. Goldilocks zone, 71 minutes. They loosely promise, they don't loosely promise, they say you should get 80 minutes charge time out of it. We didn't get 80 minutes, we got 71 minutes, which is 88.8% .8 of what they advertise. Temperature setting, one gross. And look over here. 
Started out 174 degrees with five minutes, 159, 148. Then it got to the Goldilocks zone at 15 minutes. And I do think, if I remember right, it was exactly 15, not to the second. But it wasn't like it was 14 or 16 and I rounded it off. No, it was 15. And then it went out of the Goldilocks zone. You know, I should have made this 88, 89, whatever it was, because I find it hard to believe it went, this is exactly right. I don't remember it after now. But basically, about 71 minutes it was in the Goldilocks zone. Look at this right here. Right across there, then plummets like a rock. Look at that. So after this test, I thought, huh, 88%. Yeah, that's enough to not gripe about. It's enough to keep it, but man, uh, I don't know. I was really hoping it'd be not, at least 94, 95%. And then I thought, well, you know, if I turn the hot water heater up on, you know, in my house, it uses more energy. It uses more electricity. People say sometimes, lower your hot water heater and you'll save money on your electric bill. And I thought, well, you know, this thing out of the box is set on 135. You never have to download the app ever if you don't want to with this, as long as you want the temperature to always be at 135. The app don't do much once you set it up and change the temperature to what you want. But I didn't want the temperature at 135. I wanted that at gross. But anyway, I got to thinking, if I would have left it like they sent it to me, would it, like a hot water heater, make it last longer? So this morning I did another test. Let's take a look. Day three. Lid, no. Battery cycles, estimated four. Look at 91 minutes when I set it at 135 degrees. They advertise 80. I got 91 minutes, 114%. That is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> My hat is off to you, Ember Engineers. Good for you. Got 14% more than was advertised. So my theory was right, the hot water heater theory. And look at this. I had to add another line down here because this only went to 100 minutes originally. Look at this huge Goldilocks zone. So those of you who say, I got a $5 mug, I'll do the same. Well, guess what? I paid about seven or eight bucks for this mug. Got me 45 minutes. And even that wasn't a perfect you know, temperature all the time. Look at this. And then look at this. I went from 45 minutes to the way I really want it, 71 minutes. That's another 26 minutes, which is quite a long time. And look at that, 91 minutes. Next time I make coffee, I think I'm going to set it at 135. And just see, because it will also heat it up. If it's too cold, I can heat it back up to 145. And on the coaster, let me get a picture of that. What I call the saucer. Okay, here we go. You leave it on this, it'll stay that temperature all freaking day long. And that's why I have that sitting on my desk. All freaking day. Man, I have found myself not hurrying to drink the coffee the last couple of days, and that's been so refreshing. Y'all can't imagine how many times I've hurried through a cup of coffee. Y'all can't, you don't know how many times I've rushed through it. I'd be like, oh, I'm getting close to the bottom of the Goldilocks zone. Of course, I didn't call it that then. I just came up with this term just the other day. And I thought, oh, man, that's, it's just barely warm enough. I better hurry up and drink it. <laughs> man, and then I'm thinking, okay, I'm doing laundry. When is the dryer going to go off? Because I cannot fix my coffee too close to the dryer going off because... It'll take me 15 minutes to fold those clothes and my coffee will get cold. That's the mentality I used to think. I used to, I used to think, okay, what time do I want to eat my bagel? Because I have to make sure I fix the coffee about 20 minutes before I want to, you know, eat my bagel. Man, screw that. Screw that. I can do what I want now. I have freedom when it comes to coffee. <laughs> I am free. I am free. Absolutely. I'm free at last. I cannot believe I waited two years to buy this thing. This thing is worth every freaking penny. I already tell you that. Worth every freaking, worth more. I'd pay $200 for this cup if I had to. Yes, I would. You can call me a nut. You can call me an idiot. I've already been called that for spending $119 on it. <laughs> if you want the people you work with to think you're a freaking moron, if you want them to think you're a nut, they may sit to your face. They may sit behind your back. Tell them, hey, Two things you can tell them. I just bought a plug-in car or 
I just bought a $150 coffee cup. Now, I haven't told very many people because I don't want to be that guy that brags about a $100 shirt. A guy I used to work with, he disappeared. He came back one day. Uh, this is probably 1990. Came through the door. I'm like, we'll call him uh, Barry. Barry, how you doing? I'm wearing a $100 shirt. How the hell you think I'm doing? <laughs> that's, that's what he said. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. But then again, I want to talk about this mug. So what do you do? Do you tell people, yes, I bought a $150 mug on sale for $120, and let them think you're the $100 shirt guy? Or do you just keep quiet about it? But if you tell people, they're going to think you're a freaking moron. <laughs> and they're going to have the thought, I got a $5 mug that does that. But they don't realize, they don't realize the difference. And so anyway, I'm going to tell people about it, but man, I'm kind of leery about doing that because I don't want, you know, who buys a $150 coffee cup? Not that I give a crap what people think. I wouldn't give two hairs off my lip. I, okay, I'm not going to say that. I don't care what people think. I don't. But then again, I don't want them to, there are a few things I don't want people to think about me. I don't want them to think I'm a bragger. I don't want them to think I'm trying to put on airs. I am a poor man. I am poor. I'm not as poor as Job's turkey, but I'm poor. And um, we don't have to worry about keeping the lights on. I had to think about this for two years, and now I want another one. And <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Oh my gosh, I you get me talking, and I just yak, 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 yak. I'm sure most of y'all have signed off by now. Sorry about that. I can't control myself. I can't control my mouth. I'm like a 16-year-old male who can't control things. <laughs> Only thing is, man, I can't stop. I just can't stop talking. Can't do it. I'm going to hit the stop button now so you don't have to listen to me anymore. Okay? Hey, y'all. Thank you. Go get this freaking mug and then tell the people you work with uh, just to watch them freak out. A lot, Most of them will do it behind your back. They won't tell you to your face. And they'll be like, here's what they're going to do. They're going to say, can you believe what that Fink did? A lot of people call me Fink. Can you believe what Fink did? Fink bought a freaking $150 coffee cup and he's bragging it was on sale for $120. What a stupid moron. Hey, do you have our $200 NFL tickets? That's what they're going to do. Can you believe that moron spent $150 on a coffee cup while they're driving in their $600 a month truck? Truck. Not that there's anything against that. Not that there's, there's anything against NFL tickets. I'm just telling you, 95% of the people that will criticize you for this blow $150 here and there, and they don't they don't consider it blowing it. They, it's just weird the way people think about money. It is. They'll say you're a moron while they're going to a hockey game where they spent almost this much on one ticket. You know, so I don't understand people. I don't. I love people. I love being around people. And I, I love talking to people. And I love associating with people. And even people who don't make any sense to me. I love talking to them. But man, they just don't make any sense to me. They don't. <laughs> and I'm sure I don't make any sense to them. Okay, that's it. I'm shutting up. Sorry, y'all. Bye.